Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, GSPOA was negotiated by member states to focus principally on addressing research and development needs for diseases disproportionately affecting developing countries. The panel's expert terms of reference instructed it to, quote, identify areas of convergence in part within GSPOA and to involve relevant stakeholders in its review. The panel's final report includes some critical recommendations that represent areas of consensus among member states, such as regulatory strengthening and building research capacity, and these are areas where WHO should focus. However, there are other recommendations where there is no member state convergence, and therefore they do not adhere to the consensus-based goals of GSPOA. For example, it's policy requiring companies to attempt to calculate and then disclose research and development costs are impractical and unlikely to be effective. Furthermore, such approaches could, re could result in the abandonment of the riskiest types of research that ultimately may be the most beneficial for the vulnerable communities we are meant to serve and humanity as a whole. In addition, we do not support calls for WHO advocacy in areas outside its mandate and expertise, including intellectual property rights for which potential long-term consequences to global innovation would be devastating. The United States maintains it's inappropriate for WHO to intervene on matters in the domain of the World Trade Organization, particularly with respect to interpreting member states' legally binding TRIPS obligations. Future action by WHO should focus on areas of consensus, and member states should focus on policies that will genuinely promote access to medicines while continuing to allow the global innovation system to flourish. For these reasons, we cannot support the decision point as drafted. We therefore respectfully request the Executive Board to convene a drafting group to consider revisions to this draft decision point. Uh, we would uh, ask whether a member of the Executive Board would make this proposal on our behalf. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.